Hello there and welcome back to the channel. We are back here in TCG Card Shop Simulator. So we're on day eight at the moment. Uh, we're doing quite well, 170 in the bank. And we'll uh, get our bills page. We do need to order some cards first. So get those done. I just want to keep stocked up on these because we do need to open some in order to uh, get a bit of extra income. And what's this guy brought? Okay, $17 card, that's fine. Let's get these back on the shelves. So we are... We're doing well. I do want to clean this up at some point. I don't like having dice and sleeves and stuff everywhere, so I think we're going to eventually buy some more shelves. The shelves are quite expensive, so... We've got to take it slow. We're doing fairly well in terms of customers, though. Like, I don't know if anything you do actually affects that. Um, but we seem to have a quite busy shop, so that's good. It's good. Card sleeves. They're like a game changer, because they're so cheap, but you can like double your money on them. And, of course, the card boxes as well. Very, very good. Is he going to buy a single? Yes, he's buying one. Nice. How much is that worth? 15? Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm really, really enjoying playing it. So I'm going to keep doing it regardless. Um, but what I'm trying to do is just aim to improve the video slightly every time. That's, that's my goal. So... Hopefully, I'm doing well. Okay. More card sleeves. I'll just chuck them down here for now, I suppose. is this worth? Oh, okay, £1.18. Still a sale's a sale, but... I have seen that you can get, like, a, a workstation, or whatever they call it, and you can bundle together all your old cards, like your really bad ones, and sell them as, like, mystery boxes. So that's a really cool idea. I like that. I'm just wondering whether that will... I mean, people don't return stuff in this game, but will it sort of make them want to buy less if you rip them off with a load of, like, rubbish cards? I don't know. Maybe I might have to sprinkle a few decent ones in there as well. But we'll see when we get to it. I think we're quite far off at the moment. I think off the top of my head it's about a thousand pound or a thousand dollars to buy that. Still just sticking with like the market price plus ten percent on here. Seems to work well, and there's no use changing it if it's not broken. So there we go, we sold that one straight away. Uh, I forget how to change page on this. There we go. I'm not primarily a PC player, or well, I, I didn't used to be, I am now. But I've only had my PC for a few months, and I'm still getting used to playing with a keyboard. I think I'm getting better though. Oh, there we go, 94 cents. It's going to help pay the bills. Dice are a really good investment. They're all, uh, the different colours are worth different prices as far as I can see, so I'll try and figure out which ones are the best. That's what we like, people buying those packs. It'll be cool to get the epic ones, but again, I think we're quite far off. I think you need to be level 12 to get them. So we're obviously quite far off at the moment, but the more packs we open, the more experience we get, the more customers we serve. So 
We've got some guys playing down there. That's cool. Um, there we go. Nice and easy. So, yeah, we're going to keep these stocked up at just uh, market price plus 10. That's working well for us, like I mentioned. So, that's all good. Now, I have seen on here that they're going to have the opportunity for the the NPC sort of trade cards and stuff. I don't know if we're going to be able to trade cards. Um, they have taken it off the loading screen or the, the home screen where it used to say, when on the prologue it used to say, that they're going to work in that you can play the TCG. That's no longer on that screen, so I don't know whether they've just binned that idea or whether it's something they're leaving for a, a much later update. I can imagine that sort of whole new mechanics and stuff that they have to code, which is completely different from just this sort of shop game where realistically most of them are, are quite similar. You sort of stock up your shelves, order stock, you can hire employees and you stand at your till and check things out. I think that's a formula which is probably fairly easy to just copy and paste and sort of uh, put your own skins on and stuff. Obviously this is a bit more complex here, I'm not saying that it's an easy job, but uh, just the, the TCG playing side of it is probably a lot different and more complex I would imagine. Might be wrong, if you're a coder let me know and put me in my place, but I, I just think that that's probably a lot more difficult. So that's maybe being left or either completely canned altogether. We don't know. I have mentioned though that they are going to be putting in um, like different TCGs. So that'd be quite cool to see if they can essentially double the amount of products and stuff that are here. That'd be really, really cool. Nice. 598 pounds. That's our best card that we've had by a long shot. That could really, really help us out there. So, like, 1,206 for that pack. That's fantastic. And 92. Oh, my God. We're having such good pulls today. This is amazing. Okay, if we can get those two sold for, like, market plus 10%. I don't really hold much hope for this pack. Although we've got a couple of good cards in there. Yeah, not not. Too, I mean, this one's pretty bad. The last pack wasn't too bad either, though. Okay, this could be like a big, big point in our save. So if we get them sold. I mean, what did we have there? The first value was like 1,000 and something, 1,200. The second value was maybe a couple of hundred. The amount of stuff we could buy with that, upgrades and things. Okay, this is really good. I'll get these things sold, and then I'll try and get these cards out. Yeah, look, we've got space. I need to switch back to the other page. There we go. 598 just for that one card alone. If we put 10% on that, that's six and a half. Okay, we are doing well. Over $100 for that card. And oh, then that one looks pretty, pretty pale in comparison, but there we go. We've got to keep up with the, uh, the common stuff we've been doing. 2183 for that. I'll take that, sir. Thank you very much. And one dollar there. I'll keep getting these filled up. I don't now we've pulled a really good card. I don't know if we're going to again for quite some time. I don't know how the mechanics work for is it just pure random luck or is there some sort of there must be some sort of algorithm there to say one in every whatever maybe a one in a hundred chance or whatever of pulling like a really high value card like that so what are we at 232 at the moment 
and the stock's looking okay. We could probably do with some more boxes, to be fair, of the, uh, the basic boxes. No interest in the very, very shiny new card we have yet. Uh, we've got to be level 8 to unlock the... Oh no, level 9 to lock the, the new boxes. Sleeves are probably an option at some point, like themed sleeves and deck boxes. Yeah, we'll probably go for red. And we can afford some of them now. Just got to find a place to put them. For now, I'll get this guy sorted. Okay, he's brought out the last box. We do need to buy some more of those. Probably should have done first, to be honest. Let's get these down here while we have the room. How much do these go for? £20. Okay, so 20% on that's like £9.91 profit. I'm happy with that. So yeah, our system is anything on the shelf is plus 20%, loose cards plus 10% from market value. So far it's been doing as well. And I know there is like fluctuating price here, but I haven't really looked at that yet. I don't know how much that affects or if it affects really at all at the moment, or if that's something they're going to implement more as time goes on. Because now on like supermarket simulator and stuff, at the start of every day that would say well, prices on these items have gone up, prices on these items have gone down. Um, that might be a nice thing to sort of integrate into this. As well as one of the other, I don't think it was an update, I think it was a mod on Supermarket Simulator. And I'm comparing to that because that's probably the other simulation game I've played the most of. Um, but there was like a mod there where when you logged on to your computer, or in this case your phone, you could see all the stock there and that would show you how much stock you actually have physically on the shelf and in the warehouse. So you never ordered the same stock that you didn't need, if that makes sense. I think that's a really good system. Okay, I've sold a couple of our deck boxes, cool. And there we go, we're up to 175. don't know if I need to... I think if they've got stuff in their bags already, you lose it at the end of the day. Get these guys checked out. And then we can finish up. We've got our bills to pay tomorrow. Today, then are we going to be in profit? Yeah, by forty-five pounds or forty-five dollars. Nice day nine. Let's go. So we're almost two weeks into. It. I say almost. We've got still got five days, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're level seven at the moment, which I think is fairly good. I'm happy with that. Anyway, it'll be nice. I think like level 12 or level 10 and 12 are where you get some big unlocks which like change the game slightly in terms of new products and new workshop benches and stuff like that. We've got 258 in the bank at the moment. Let's um, go get those bills paid. There we go. If you keep on top of them, they're not really that bad. You're making way more than 100 a day. I'm thinking maybe this for like our uh, like sleeves and stuff like that and card boxes just to keep them separate. 
because I think that shelf there I want to have like all basic cards on the top, all rare underneath, then all epic underneath that. And I think that just makes it look nicer. It looks quite messy at the moment. brought a really really expensive card yet, yeah, unfortunately. I say really expensive, like we're still really early on in the game, that might be like a fairly common thing when you get further along. Yeah, so let's grab that there. It's only 150. Is that good there, do you think? Maybe this side, because this is like dead space over here, nothing's really being used. And we've <laughs> got to take these over one by one, so this is going to be fun for you to watch. I'm not even going to edit it out either, I'm just going to keep this here, and you can watch a guy just moving deck boxes from one side of the room to the other. might get more views that way, I don't know. People might like that sort of stuff. Uh, Three dollars change there. Still got like the basic everyday over-the-counter sort of sales going on. So that's enough to keep us afloat there. We never really do much more than a tenner per customer. Normally a lot more sometimes a little bit less if we're selling like a bottom for the barrel sort of card. I do want to get some of these sleeves eventually. And that catalogue, like, not catalogue, but binder. That would be really, really cool. I'm hoping that will sell for quite a lot because it's like a thousand to buy the rights to it or the licence to it. I did used to own a card shop, sort of online. Um, and I can tell you now, you, you do not need to buy the licenses in order to buy cards, but I suppose it's just a, a gate mechanic for the game. If they made everything available straight away, it would be way too easy. There we go, so we've got enough money here now to pay our bills tomorrow if we need to, so by 12 o'clock we can make enough money to pay the bills because we've already paid the bills today anyway and we brought that shelf so, yeah it's easy now, just don't let it build up at the start like I did because that was a bit worrying, I think at one point we had like a £600 bill to pay Now I have heard as well that you can change this to different currency, so I forget every time I turn the game on, but one day I'll remember and then you guys can see that. In fact, you've probably already done it already if you're already playing. There go, look, 89p on that, or 89 cents at the moment. 88 on that one. Good, good. Probably need to open some packs to be fair, see if we can get a few more good cards. Although we still haven't sold our really good cards, so there's obviously no rush. People are skimp at the moment. I wonder if people have more money the higher shop level we are. Is that a mechanic in the game? I don't know. It would make sense, I suppose. Another one of these, because one can be like sleeves, and the other one can be like deck boxes. Yeah, I like that, that's good. It's a shame you can't put stuff up against the glass by the looks of it. 
Although I suppose that wouldn't look nice from the front of the store, would it? And that space there definitely seems like you should be able to put something. That's a waste of space. I suppose later on that's going to be the doorway to plot B, whether that's a, an extra shop for you or whether it's a... Whether it's a play area. That could be quite interesting actually, if they are bringing out another TCG, you could have like a counter in each shop, or in each room, or lot, whatever they call it. And then you could have one side for a type of TCG, and the other side for the other. I think what I'll probably do though is have like a warehouse and small shop area in one side, and then the other side like a huge play area because a lot of passive income comes from them sitting down at the table and actually playing and eventually trading and stuff. So I think that's probably the best way to get money in. I've got two tables at the moment. I'll probably get a third soon-ish. But we don't really have the space for it at the moment. I mean, we'll probably do if we move some stuff around, but... There we go. I'm going to now individually bring these dice over. hope this is entertaining for you, because it's definitely entertaining for me. I wonder if you save a box, if you can just whack them all back in the box, but I like to think, now I'm not a huge guy, but I think I could carry more than one pack of dice at a time. Don't quote me on it, I don't want to be... I don't want to be held up in the streets with people asking me to hold more than one pack of dice and prove it, but I'm fairly confident. Fairly confident. And maybe it's because I'm, I'm hiding behind a computer that I'm so confident. If you actually saw me in real life, I probably wouldn't dare make such a claim. There we go. Everyone's got the same debit card, which is handy, I suppose, for whoever owns that bank. Now, I don't know why. It's the same numbers and stuff, but American currency just slows me down. I find myself just, like, staring at the screen, like, what does 32 mean in dollars? Okay, well, we might as well carry on with this. This is going well. Is my hand already full? No. What's going on here? There we go. I'm assuming this game takes place in, like, winter because it's five o'clock and the sun's going down quite rapidly. Which doesn't help with my electricity bill at all. There is like a, a smelly box, I mean I suppose most people would probably call it an air freshener, but I'll call it a smelly box. It's like a $500 smelly box, or a $1,000 smelly box. I suppose they do bigger, the big one does a bigger area. So when people come in and they say it smells in here, I'm wondering, because you've had smelly people in the shop, does the smell linger? And if it does, how do we know that it's lingering? Or is it literally just if there's a smelly person in the shop? Because you can get rid of that just with the deodorant. But, I don't know. I wish that was a bit clearer. Sometimes people just come to the front door, go, oh, it smells in here, and walk off. And they're potentially another sale that we've lost out on. be easier, actually, if we a sign up on the door saying no entry if you haven't bathed but I don't think that's an option there we go so that's how I'm going to lay it out I'm going to have the left hand side as single cards the right hand side as boxes of cards and then going down in rarity or up in rarity as you go down the shelf so I've got to get these out of the way. I don't like how they stack in there. I think that's glitched a bit because look, they just look all sort of bundled together. But not to worry, it doesn't affect me in any way, so I'm fine. 
It's just a little polish point on the game. Don't know why I've selected this shelf as well. That's an odd choice. So this is going to be our sleeve one. The one on the right is obviously for our dice. But frustratingly, I think dice come in like four different colours at the moment. And there's only three like space on the shelf because you can't use the top shelf for those little units. Wish they just did them in like twos. Or like just even numbers would be great. Fours maybe. But no, it's just three. And even like the wire racking, which I'm assuming is for like the plushies and stuff, is a five. Why five? Just do four. Or six. Oh, that man really wants that card. But he doesn't have enough money. So maybe, yeah, we do get richer customers come in. I don't know. No, I don't know. I didn't make the game, as you can clearly see. Barely make YouTube videos, let alone games. Oh, you stink. Don't come in. You'll lose me customers. Oh, okay, nice. Nice bit of profit coming towards the end of the day. 72 quid. 72 dollars. We're almost there with these as well, so that's exciting. I know you'll all be sorry for for this to end. You've got to get your steps in, haven't you? There we go. Another nice little order, 30 quid. Thank you, smelly man. There we go. So we're all set up here now to, to move forward with my vision. I can't really end the day yet because this guy wants to buy some dice. Where did you get those dice from? Because he walked over to that shelf. Oh, maybe he picked them up before he walked over. Okay, well, we're going to stop it there. That is the end of the episode, so thank you very much for watching. I'll try and release these daily for you. If you like them, please give me a like and a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.